In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the differences between two absolutely incredible guard dog breeds, the Connie Corso and the Bully Cutter. Welcome back to the Femria Connie Corso Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FemriaCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the Connie Corso. So if you love them as much as we do here at Fenrir, start by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss a future Connie Corso video. And today we're going to take a look into what separates the Connie Corso from the fascinating Pakistani Mastiff, the Bully Cutter. So let's jump straight in and first we will compare the history of these absolutely mighty guardians. Now, as we've discussed before on this channel, a descendant of the ancient Mastiff type Molossus Hound, the Connie Corso is born with immensely strong guarding instincts, which no doubt came in handy when the breed was recruited as a dog of war by the ancient Roman army. Driving back the enemy front lines, these dogs knew no fear and contributed to many Roman victories. After the fall of the Roman Empire, the Connie Corso quickly adapted to civilian life, where it mainly served as a hunting companion, herding dog for cattle, as well as farm and livestock guardian. Now, just like the Connie Corso, the Bully Cutter is a very old Mastiff breed, dated back by some sources to the time of the Persian King Xerxes the Great, who ruled his empire from 486 to 465 BC. Also known as Indian or Pakistani Mastiffs, Bully Cutters were primarily used for hunting game and for protection purposes. Sadly, they were also used for illegal dogfighting competitions. But despite their ancient history, Bully Cutter breeders in India and Pakistan appear to not have documented the breed's history nor have they kept records of their dog's pedigrees. Also, health testing is only now becoming common amongst bully cutter breeders in the Western world. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue centre, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays and helping implement behaviour modification programmes to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes so if you're interested in following my journey of how i do that there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below i think you'll really enjoy the journey but i'll let you get back to the video you were just watching so then to separate them in their looks well both breeds are large and muscular dogs of the mastiff type who come with a sky high intimidation factor however the connie corso is the smaller breed of the two with its high legs and comparatively slender appearance the bully cutter rather resembles a great dane than a typical mastiff however both breeds have the large bone body massive blocky head and large jowls typical for mastiff type breeds in their overall appearance, both the Corso and the Bully Cutter give the impression of great strength combined with speed and agility. Adult male Corsos can reach up to 70 centimetres at the withers, which is around 28 inches, and they can weigh a whopping 68 kilograms, which is up to around 150 pounds. Now, towering over almost any dog breed in existence, adult male Pakistani Mastiffs can reach heights of upwards of 89 centimetres, which is around 35 inches, and they can weigh 77 kilos, which is around 170 pounds. Now, for both breeds, the females are slightly smaller and lighter. Now, traditionally, both breeds come with cropped ears and corsos used to have docked tails. However, the practice of cropping and docking has become illegal in many countries like here in the UK. Both Mastiffs have short, soft and naturally shiny coats. The Bully Cutter's coat can come in brindle, fawn, red, black, white or harlequin, which means black spots on a white base coat. Connie Corsos can be black fawn, red, grey or brindle with or without white markings, typically seen as that beautiful shield on the chest. So then, looking at their intelligence and trainability differences, the Connie Corso and the Pakistani Mastiff are formidable working breeds who come with high levels of intelligence. However, when it comes to trainability, these breeds are very independent and strong-willed, and less guided by a very experienced, calm, consistent canine leader, these powerful Mastiffs will adopt the leadership position themselves and make their own decisions. With the Connie Corso, conventional methods and harsh corrections lead nowhere as the breed is extremely sensitive. What will work best with them is a balanced approach with lots of positive reinforcement. Now, the Pakistani Mastiff is known to be particularly resistant to training efforts, much more so than the relatively trainable Connie Corso. These dogs have been bred to make their own decisions in their traditional working roles as livestock and farm guardians in India and Pakistan. For hundreds or even thousands of years, these Far Eastern Mastiffs were left to their own devices to ward off large predators such as large cats, feral dogs and even humans. 
And then this brings us to the temperaments of these strong and smart Mastiff breeds. They both come with an extremely strong protective instinct, a gift from their history as war dogs and guardians. Both the Italian and Pakistani Mastiff are true naturals when it comes to defending their own, and they do not require any training for that either. However, having a professional guard dog trainer work with your dog is not a bad idea with these powerful breeds. Such training will enhance the control that you have over your dog in any given situation. Now, when it comes to these canine companions' devotions for their owners, the Connie Corso is especially loving and affectionate. Compared to other guardian breeds, these dogs can be the proverbial gentle giants and form exceptionally strong emotional bonds with their people. They adore their owners' children and are very protective of them, which makes the Connie Corso a superb family guardian, and house dog for that matter. For their size, Connie Corso is amazingly gentle when walking around indoors. Bully Cutters, on the other hand, seem to do best when provided with a large secure area outside the home, a place where they can hold watch and patrol the perimeter of their territory. Like Corsos, they are fiercely loyal and devoted to their owners, but are said to be less attached to them than the Italian Mastiff. Both the Connie Corso and the Bully Cutter need to be well socialised from early puppyhood onwards. But even with socialisation, Pakistani Mastiffs are known to be extremely prone to dog aggression. And whilst both breeds are naturally wary of strangers, the Connie Corso can be socialised to a high level. With the Bully Cutter, this is far more difficult to achieve. After all, these dogs have never been bred to tolerate strangers coming close to them and even touching them. Whereas the Connie Corso has been selectively bred, especially during the last few decades, to perform in confirmation trials, Schutzhund or French ring trials, and all of these types of competition demand the dog to be calm around strangers and even let, the let them touch the dog. Therefore, the bully cutter's natural wariness of strangers can easily escalate and make the dog dangerous around people. So it goes without saying that both breeds, but especially the Bully Cutter, are unsuitable for beginners. To become safe and dependable canine companions, they absolutely need an experienced leader. So I hope you enjoyed that quick breakdown of the Connie Corso and the Bully Cutter, both fascinating and interesting dog breeds. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and remember, subscribe and turn on that notification bell as we've got two dedicated Connie Corso videos coming every week. And I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femrear Connie Corso Show.